Hello everyone, I'm Tabitha with Moonlight Custom Creations and today I'm going to show you how to do a patriotic glitter swirl Milky Way. Now go ahead, watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and let's get started. Hey y'all, what I have here is a 20 ounce skinny from Maker Flow Craft. I did sand it down with 80 grit sandpaper and spray painted it with Rust-Oleum Flat White. I do have some epoxy mixed up and I'm gonna use Rocket's Red Glare from the Glitter Grind. I will be using Cobalt's from the Glitter Grind. And for my white, I'm gonna be using diamonds. Now I will have my link for the glitter grind down in the description box below. And I also mixed up my little, my own little mix here, which I will show you what I used for that. So what I'm doing here is I'm just making sure that all of my glitters are opened. That way I can use them really easily. And I'm gonna apply this glitter with the epoxy method. So I'm applying maybe five mls of epoxy all over this 20 ounce tumbler. I am making sure that it is a nice, even thin layer. You don't want it dripping or anything like that. Now, depending on the temperature in your room, it might be kind of hard to spread, but as soon as you warm that epoxy up in your hand and start warming the tumbler up, it becomes very, very easy to spread. And you can spread that five mLs, three to five mLs across your entire tumbler, no problem whatsoever. You just wanna make sure that it's a very thin coat when you're applying your glitter application. Now that we got a nice even coat on there, I'm gonna start out with these diamonds from the glitter grind. And I'm going to hold this up, as you can see, like it's pretty much where that my camera is sitting. And I'm going to tap lightly. That way the glitter comes out not in one clump, but it gives it a nice little trickle effect. I'm also rotating my tumbler because we are doing a glitter swirl here. Now I have found this is the easiest way to achieve a glitter swirl. If you're doing the epoxy method, you want to start out really high and then start going down low. The lower you get, the more concentrated the glitter is going to be, but the higher you go, the easier it's going to be to blend those colors in. And now we're going to go in with a cobalt. Same concept. I'm going to hold it up pretty high and let it trickle down my tumbler, down onto my tumbler, actually. <laughs> I'm actually leaving just a little spacing between the blue and the white because I'm going to be using that for blending purposes. And just right here, I'm lightly tapping it so it's barely coming out. That way I can get a nice blend. Now we're gonna go in with our Rockets Red Glare using the same concept, holding it up and just tapping that glitter bottle. That way it just kind of trickles down instead of putting a big old glob of glitter onto the cup. Now we're gonna transition colors as well. And now as you can see, I'm gonna go in and get that in between marker between the blue and the red. And I'm just gonna lightly tap the glitter bottle to make sure that I get a really nice blend. Now I do go back and make my white strip just a little bit whiter because I really only have room for one more color. So I'm gonna make the white strip that I made the first time a little bit whiter. And then I'm gonna go in with the cobalt blue and do that strip as well. Now for our last color here, we're gonna go in with the cobalt blue. And this will be our last color on this tumbler. I will also show you how to really blend in your colors. Now that we're done with the last color, we're gonna go ahead and go in and we're gonna go in with all of our colors and we're going to blend. I am lightly tapping my glitter bottle and I'm allowing it to trickle down in between the Rockets Red Glare and the Cobalt here. And that gives me a really nice blend between the blue and the red. I'm also putting some down at the bottom here. That way I kind of have all of the colors down on the bottom and not just leaving it white or blue or red. I wanted it to be kind of a mixture of all of the colors. Now we're gonna go in with our diamonds and we're going to be blending between the white and the cobalt. I am adding just a little bit to the bottom, pretty much the bottom, wherever it falls, it falls. That's what it's gonna look like here. But with the blending, I'm holding it up and I am just barely tapping it 
That way it kind of trickles down and gives me that nice ombre effect. And you want to do that to both sides of the white strip. Now we're going to go in with our Rockets Red Glare. We're going to put a little bit on the bottom here, just like we did with the other two. And then we're going to hold that glitter ball up bottle up <laughs> if I could talk and then we're going to lightly tap to get that nice blending between the cobalt and the rocket's red glare and you want to do this just back and forth with all the colors until you achieve the look that you are going for now that we're done blending all of our colors this is what it should look like now I am going to let this fully dry and then I am going to seal it with Rust-Oleum two times clear, at least twice. And then we are ready to pop this on our turner and start our Milky Way. Now that our Rust-Oleum two times clear has dried, we are ready to epoxy. I am putting roughly about 20 mLs of epoxy on this tumbler. I'm making sure that I get a really good base. It might be upwards to 25 mLs, but I'm making sure that I get a really good base. That way my mica powders and my paint mixture has room to move. So I did mix up around like 30 mLs. You want to make sure that you have a nice even coat and that your finger can glide over the glitter and that it's not just soaking into the glitter. Now that you have a nice coat on there, I did use some Luna from the Glitter Grind, their mica powder, and I'm going to use a little bit of Apple Barrel White acrylic paint, and I'm going to use that as my little mixture here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some of that epoxy into my little cup that I have here. I did put around one to two scoops of the Luna in there. And now I'm going to mix in a little bit of the Apple Barrel White acrylic paint. And you want to make sure that that's mixed up very, very well. Now that you have that mixed up very well, you want to just take your popsicle stick that you have here and draw those diagonal lines where the colors meet. And I also like to do a little tapping motion here along those lines just to kind of spread out some of the color that I have on there. Now I'm just going to go in with my heat gun and I'm just going to apply a little bit of heat to make those lines just kind of spread out just a little bit. And you don't want to put too much heat on here because your Milky Way lines, that will just start running all over the place. But you just want to put a little bit until they start to move. Now I do turn on and off my turner and switch directions as well. That way they're not just all going in the same direction. Now I'm also going to take my glove finger if there's too much in one spot and you just want to wipe that off like that little drizzle that I got on there earlier. You can just go ahead with your glove finger and take all that off. You could also go in and kind of make your lines a little bit more squiggly and then you just want to repeat this process until you are satisfied with how your lines are looking. Going in, taking off any excess that you may have. And I like to repeatedly switch the rotation of my turner. That way they kind of stay in the same position. Now that I'm satisfied with the way my Milky Way is looking, this is my little glitter mixture. I went in with Cobalt Chunky Mix, Interstellar Chunky Mix, and Dr. Love Chunky Mix. And this is how I made my own little glitter mixture that I'm going to use all over this tumbler. I absolutely love this little mixture that I made. It just, it brings out all the colors in just one. It looks absolutely amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take pinches of this little glitter mixture that I made and I'm going to put it in the middle of the Milky Ways. So I'm going to add this to each of the colors, the diamonds, the cobalt, and the rocket's red glare. And I'm not going to do a lot here because I don't want it to kind of take away from everything else and I don't want it to look too busy but this is totally up to you however much you want to add or not add. I normally have to stop myself when it comes to glitter because I absolutely love it. Love glitter. So whenever you are satisfied with the glitter you want this to go ahead and turn for the full curing time and then you want to add your two final coats. All right, y'all, after two coats of epoxy, this is what our finished tumbler looks like. This tumbler is so easy to achieve. It's a great beginner's tumbler. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I really hope this inspired you to create your own or something similar. 
Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.